What's going on guys? Welcome back to Northside Reptiles. I'm Andrew and this week is a very interesting episode because it's Yoshi's fifth birthday today. So I got her this to uh, be kind of festive. So in this video, it is Yoshi's birthday like I said. And we are going to feed her some of her favorites so that you guys can see all that she eats. She's a good eater, so we will just go right over the feeding bin right now. Alright guys, so some of the older viewers might know this is our feeding station. This is where we feed the water dragons. We just put them in here and put the food item in there with them. And it gives them a chance to run around and kind of hunt the uh, cricket or the superworm that we're feeding. And this is a little bit better than just tong feeding them, that offers them not much stimulation or the natural uh, ability to hunt. So today we are going to be feeding uh, the hornworms like we talked about in the feeding video. She really likes these so that will be good for her. Plus they're really healthy. These. Dubia roaches, I touched a little bit on this on the video we did about diet for them. I did say that we can't get these in Canada that are living, so they have to be vacuum packed or in a can, so they're already dead. And we are going to be feeding these with a tong, uh, just because they have a little bit of liquid on them and I don't want to get that on my hands. But we'll feed the two hornworms first, so that she can uh, get started. I am using a tripod today, so this might be a little bit more difficult. I could probably put you guys directly into the uh, tote, so I'll do that right now. And hopefully we can get her coming up to you guys so that you guys can see this close up. She does like these, so hopefully she gets them. Looks like she's not very hungry. Now she is kind of chubby, so she might be gravid, which means that she has eggs inside of her. I don't think these eggs are going to be good, but I will still incubate them to make sure that they, in case they are good. Now she really likes crickets, so... Let's see if she'll get this hornworm here. No. So we'll try the dubia roaches now. See if she'll eat them instead of the hornworms. When lizards get gravid, they tend not to eat as much. So that could be what's happening, and she really does that when she is gravid in the past. So maybe the cricket was smaller in her belly, so she didn't want to commit to a giant meal. Let's see if this will work. Well, well, 
Well, it looks like she isn't too hungry, but don't worry, all this food will not go to waste, and I will take out one of the other water dragons and we'll feed them instead. I was really hoping she would eat, but if she is gravid, then I completely understand. So, we'll just go and get another lizard for you guys to watch them eat. Alright guys, so this is Nessie, our other adult female water dragon. And we'll see if she'll eat. The viewers on the channel will remember her from the last video. She isn't as calm as Yoshi is, so hopefully this will be a calm episode with her. I did put her on the episode where we dealt with handling lizards. And she has calmed down a little bit since. So hopefully I can get her up here for you guys to see. Oh. So as you can see, that worm was quite big compared to her head. But they are able to swallow it whole still. So Nessie has never eaten a dubia roach, so this is going to be a new experience for her. She's more interested in my fingers right now. All right. Well, looks like she isn't gonna eat that either. But don't worry, I have somebody else that will eat that. Uh, maybe we'll feed it to Rex, but I'm just gonna go put her back in the cage right now. I thought this was a great chance to show you guys what I do when my water dragons are laying eggs. I give them a nest box. This is what I call their nest box. It's just, a bin full of loose dirt that they can dig in and I'll water it down a little bit so that it will be a little bit more humid in here and I just place this inside their cage and they go and dig around in there and then lay their eggs so I think I'm going to put it in this area right here so that it's out of the way and uh, not going to be affected by them jumping in the water and drowning the eggs but I'm just gonna put you guys in here and then I will get right back to the video. The nesting box is in the cage now. As you can see, I put a little leaf on here, so if that is disturbed, I know that they were digging around in there. But that's all you really need to do is put a box in there for them to dig in. Of course, you can't force them to nest in that area. They will try and find the best spot possible. Normally what I do is I put a nesting box in their cage when they start digging around or doing test sites for nests. And as you probably can see there's none in here right now but in the few weeks they'll probably start or she'll probably start digging around so this is a nice chance she knows the box so she'll know to go there right away to lay the eggs and if we look at Nessie she's not as she's not as rounded as Yoshi is and if you do poke her, you can feel the egg inside of her. So I know that she is gravid, so that's going to be the major telltale sign to put a nesting box in. Now like birds, lizards do lay eggs even though they haven't been with a male. So if you have a female lizard, you do want to provide them with an area that they can lay eggs. If they don't, they can retain them. 
and this can be bad for your lizards they can be egg bound which is very bad or they'll just lay them and they'll know that they're bad eggs and they'll just lay them all around the cage and you can just throw them away now water dragons are one of the only lizards that can reproduce without a male I'm not sure how this is possible but I have seen a study where a female lay an egg without a male present ever in her life so that's pretty interesting but we still have the food that I need to feed, so we'll get right into that. Now for our new viewers, this is Rex, our adult male water dragon. This is just a temporary enclosure. He's actually being moved into his own enclosure. But as of right now, he's just stuck under Bowser. Now we'll see if he's hungry. Now, lizards do recognize tongs, and they will go after them, sometimes more than the actual food item. So, let's see if he'll eat another one. Now these are kind of slippery, water dragon's tongues are kind of, oh, are kind of sticky, and they do use that for bringing prey into their mouths, but I think it's so slippery that the sticky tongue doesn't really attach on very well to these. Maybe we'll leave that one right there. I think he's done too. Well, there you go. All right, guys. So we didn't get what we wanted in this video. Oh, Rex is running away here. So, like I said, we didn't get what we wanted in this video, but we don't always get what we want in these kind of things. We can't expect these lizards to act perfectly in every video. So, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Say happy birthday to Yoshi. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. And don't forget to follow our Instagram uh, channel, YouTube, TikTok, Facebook. And thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. See ya.